Horns up and welcome to Meal Prep Monday on Headbangers Kitchen, my brand new series to help you with your meal prep on keto and to make your keto journey a little bit smoother. Now for the longest time people have requested that I do meal prep videos. Many have gone ahead and sent me DMs on Instagram saying please give me keto meal plan. Please give me a ready diet chart to follow and many such requests. And I finally have given in and I'm making this brand new series. But I'm not going to do it the old fashioned way or the way maybe other people do it where I cook dishes and put them in Tupperware boxes and show you that as meal prep. No, I'm a cooking channel. So I've already got recipes and I've already showed you how to make them. So what I'm going to do for you today is basically put together a meal plan using the recipes that are on Headbangers Kitchen and hopefully it will help you in making your own meal plans as well and understanding how to do the keto diet better. Now before we get started, I feel it's important for everybody to have calculated their keto macros and to fully understand the amount of calories they need to consume along with their macronutrients. So for this, I have made a Keto 101 series which explains every single thing including a lot of other topics on keto like should you be drinking alcohol and things like that. So click here on the i button and watch the Keto 101 series and properly understand what keto entails and then come into the meal prep video. Now you're probably wondering why I have called this meal prep Monday when today is a Saturday because that's the day I put out this video. Of course you might be watching it on some other day but the reason I have put out this video on a Saturday because my idea is that you can watch this video on a Saturday, you can go shopping and buy all the groceries you need and then Sunday you can spend in the kitchen cooking up your food for the entire week. And of course, can you imagine meal prep Saturday? That doesn't sound good at all. Or meal prep Sunday? No. Meal prep Monday has a ring to it. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's get on with the meal plan. Now, before I get into the meal plan, it's important to note that everybody's calorie requirements are different and it would be impossible for me to individualize a plan for every single person. So what I'm going to do is give you a 1200 calorie keto meal plan and if you require more than 1200 calories, just increase the serving size of the dishes. And if you require less, well, reduce the amount. So that should hopefully sort everybody out. Anyway, let me get on with the plan now. Now today's plan starts with intermittent fasting. I find this to make meal prep and in general cooking and thinking about what to eat much easier. Your intermittent fast can be as long as you want it to be, generally anywhere from 12 to 16 hours. And during this period, the only things that you will drink are water, black coffee or tea without any sugar or creamer or anything like that. Okay, so the first meal you're going to eat is lunch. And what are you eating for lunch? So for lunch, you're going to eat my delicious pork fried rice made with cauliflower rice, of course. Now you're going to eat two servings of this pork fried rice, which is about 550 calories. It has about 13 uh, net carbs. It has about 37 grams of fat and 39 grams of protein, if I'm not mistaken. So that is going to be your lunch. And the idea is to have a nice heavy lunch so you do not feel the need to snack throughout the day. Speaking of snacks, you are actually getting a snack as well. You're going to be having my spinach soup. So you're going to be having one serving of the spinach soup, which is about seven grams of net carbs is about 19 grams of fat and about four grams of protein. And with the spinach soup, you're going to have some pine nuts, about 15 grams of pine nuts. This is about one net carb. It's about 19 grams of fat and two grams of protein. So the spinach soup and the pine nuts are what you're going to eat between your lunch and dinner. I would recommend crushing those pine nuts and sort of sprinkling it over the soup. So your soup has a little bit of crunch. And for dinner, you're going to be eating butter, chicken and naan. Yes, you heard that right. You're going to be making and eating my white butter chicken with one keto naan. Now you're only going to eat about half a serving of the butter chicken because it's about 320 calories with about 27 grams of fat, I think 15 grams of protein and about three net carbs if I'm not mistaken. 
and with that you will eat one keto naan which is about 58 calories which is I think about three net carbs two protein and two fat so that will be your entire meal for the day you will have pork fried rice for lunch you will have spinach soup and pine nuts for a snack and you will have white butter chicken and keto naan for dinner so this entire meal clocks in at about 1200 calories 27 grams of carbs 95 grams of fat and about 64 grams of protein you can probably see all the information here i've put everything into my fitness pal and this should sort you out for an entire week look it might be boring to eat, eat to eat the same thing i'm not going to edit that out i know it might be boring to eat the same thing over and over again but you know what they say guys no pain no gain look if you look at everybody who's ripped and like building muscle and and you know like bulked up and you, you know what i'm talking about the gym guys they all eat the same food day in and day out but once i make more of these meal plan videos you can rotate them and do it for three days and then switch it up and have an exciting keto meal plan so anyway that's my first keto meal plan and as you can see it hits the ratios pretty well 70 percent fat 20 percent protein and 10 percent carbs you pretty much hit your macronutrients spot on now before i let you guys go there are a few things we need to talk about mm. first and foremost if you are a vegetarian yes i'm pretty sure the first comment i'm going to get is can you give me a vegetarian meal plan so guys it's very simple the same meal plan that i have just given you what you can do is replace the chicken in butter chicken with paneer and you can make the fried rice without the pork in fact you can replace the pork probably with some eggs and that would be just fine so that's one thing that you can do so the next thing i want to talk about is serving size since this seems to confuse a lot of people so for example my white butter chicken recipe makes two full servings and i have asked you to eat half a serving for dinner so what does that mean that basically means two servings divided by 0.5 means you will get four dinners out of the recipe okay it's very simple once you have cooked the butter chicken and it's in your pan put your dish on a scale and weigh the entire amount of butter chicken so just for to make the maths easier let's assume your butter chicken weighs 800 grams that means you need to make four portions out of it so that you have half portions one two three four half portions so that means 200 grams goes into each of your tupperware boxes or whatever box you're going to store it in i hope you guys understood that it's the same with the spinach soup so make the spinach soup say the spinach soup yields four servings weigh the entire soup after it's done pour it out into a bowl and say for example it weighs 600 grams four servings would mean 150 grams of soup per serving I hope it's getting clearer now for you guys on how to calculate the serving size and using the same formula you can also prepare more than you require so for example the butter chicken like I told you makes four dinners for you this week given the meal plan yes so if you double my recipe that means you get eight days worth of butter chicken so you can keep four days worth in the freezer and four days in the fridge and then just you know work with it so that's the other thing i want to talk to you about and hopefully it has cleared up all your confusion about serving sizes so i think this pretty much covers everything that i wanted to talk about in this episode of meal prep monday and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below but make sure you watch my keto 101 series first before you ask me questions because a lot of questions have already been answered in that series so make sure you watch it anyway enough jibber jabber from me I'm done now, I guess. I will see you next Saturday with a new Meal Plan Monday episode. And I hope you enjoyed the series. Cheers and keep ketoing.